Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this episode we are going to create few animations for our FPS controller. Then I'm going to show you how to use the animator controller to switch between different animations like idle, run and shoot as well. So if this is the first time you're visiting my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos. And let's get started. So before we start animating the weapons, I want to fix two problems. The first one is about the impact effect. So when I shoot this cube, you see that the impact effect is not moving with it. That's because we are just instantiating it. And to fix that problem, we need to change the parent of the impact effect to the object using hit.transform. So let's go ahead and open up the gun script. And under the fire function, we are creating this impact effect object. Then down here we need to change the parent using impact dot transform dot parent equals the object transform and to access it we can use hit dot transform so if you didn't watch the video about the shooting with right casts go ahead and check it out let's save the script and test this game again and yeah now it's working as expected you see these bullet holes in place so the second problem is sometimes when I shoot I am hitting myself that's because the main camera is inside the player head so let's go ahead and change the main camera position as you can see it's inside the player so the main camera is like the eyes in a normal person we need to put it in place over here so let's go ahead and change the Z position to 0.5 and let's go ahead and hit play and yeah now it's working I can't hit myself so let's go ahead and start animating this FPS controller as you can see it's a little bit boring without animations first of all I want to create few animations like either run and shoot and to create an animation in unity we can open up the animation window so let's go to window animation then animation and let's put it under here then we need to select the object that we want to animate you can animate each weapon but to make things simpler I'm going to animate this weapons holder so let's go ahead and select it then let's create a new animation and let's go ahead and put it under an animation folder and let's change the name to idle then let's hit save then I'm gonna go to the game view to see the idle animation basically we need to select this record button then we need to save the first keyframe the easiest way is to try to change one of these uh, components for example I want to animate the position so let's go ahead and change the Y position to 1 then let's give it back to 0 and that's going to save the first keyframe with these values then let's go to the frame 50 and let's change the Y position to uh, minus 0 0.01 then let's go to the frame 100 and let's give it back to 0 and if we hit play you see that we have this idle animation it looks like the player is breathing then to create another one let's go ahead and create a new clip I'm gonna call it run and let's hit save the same thing make sure to select the record button and I'm gonna change the Y position a little bit then let's give it back to zero to save the first keyframe I'm gonna create an animation like the idle one but let's make it a little bit faster so let's go to the frame 25 then let's change the Y position to minus 0 0.02 and let's go to the frame 50 and give it back to zero so this is the run animation finally let's go ahead and create a shooting one the same thing let's go ahead and call it shoot basically I'm going to move the weapon forward and backward so let's go ahead and change the Z position a little bit then let's give it back to zero and let's go to the frame 5 and let's change it to minus 0 0.03 then let's go to the frame 10 and give it back to zero as well and let's hit play and that's our shooting animation you can make it a little bit faster as well and to switch between these animations we need to use the animator controller component so when we've created the idle animation unity creates by default this animator controller so let's go ahead and call it fps controller then to open it up we use the animator window so let's go to window animation and we have here the animator window as you can see we have our three animations 
and by default we have the idle one you could change the default animation using right click then set as layer default state but let's go ahead and give it back to the idle one that's our default animation but also we need to transition from idle to run and from run to idle depending on the state of the player if he's running or not and to do that we use transitions for example let's make a transition from idle to run using right click make transition and let's select the run animation and the same thing let's go ahead and right click make transition from run to idle and to control the transition between these animations we use conditions but first of all we need to create a parameter so under the parameters tab let's go ahead and create our first parameter normally we use a float variable to control the transition between the idle and the run state so let's go ahead and call it speed then let's select the transition so we need to transition from idle to run when the speed variable or the speed parameter is greater than 0.1 and we need to transition back when the speed variable is less than 0.1 also make sure to uncheck has exit time in both of these transitions to switch immediately to the animation when the condition is met now we need to control the speed variable using the script but first of all I want to test it over here so we can change the animator window I'm gonna put it over here then let's hit play so by default the player is idle but if I change the speed variable for example to 0.2 you see that the run animation is the played one and if we give it back to 0 you see that the idle animation is the played animation but we need to change this parameter using the scripts and to do that let's go ahead and open up the player movement script under the scripts folder we have this player movement let's go ahead and open it up and down here we are going to set the speed variable to the absolute value of the x or the horizontal and the vertical input but first of all we need to add a reference to the animator so let's go over here and declare public the type is animator and let's call it animator as well then let's go down here and to change the parameter we can use animator dot set float that's because the type of the parameter is a float the first parameter is the name of the parameter which we've called speed then we can set the value I'm gonna use mathf.abs for the absolute value of the x input and let's go ahead and add to that the absolute value of the z input and now if we save the script and go back into unity let's select the fps controller then under the player movement script we need to reference the animator component so let's go ahead and drag in the weapons holder now let's go ahead and hit play so by default the player is idle and when I start moving as you can see the played animation is the run one but I think I need to make it a little bit faster you can change the speed of the state or the animation from the animator window so let's go ahead and select the run one and under here we have the speed I'm gonna change it to uh, 3 and let's test this again and yeah we have the run animation and the idle one but I think it's a little bit weird so if you have other animations go ahead and use them I'm not a good animator anyway so let's go ahead and add the transition from the idle or the run to the shooting because now we are not playing the shooting animation when we start shooting so let's go ahead and make new transitions we need to make transition from idle to shoot but also we need to be able to shoot when we are running so let's make a transition from run to shoot as well then we need to add a condition so let's go ahead and add another parameter using this plus icon I'm gonna use a boolean this time and let's call it is shooting then let's select the transition and down here under the condition let's go ahead and select the condition is shooting true and the same thing over here so we need to transition from idle or run to the shoot animation when the boolean is shooting is true and make sure to remove has exit time as well but also we need to transition back to the idle animation using right click make transition to idle and this time let's go ahead and select the condition and it's is shooting is false and make sure to remove has exit time finally we need to change this parameter is shooting 
and it's very simple let's open up the gun script here we are checking if we are shooting or not so let's go ahead and change the boolean from here but first of all we need to add a reference to the animator using public animator and let's call it animator as well then down here let's go ahead and use animator dot set bool to change the boolean the first parameter is the name which we've called is shooting make sure to spell that right then we need to put the value I'm gonna change it to the boolean is shooting which is this one so let's go ahead and save the script and go back into unity then let's select all of the weapons and under the gun script we need to reference the animator component I'm gonna drag in the weapons holder which contains the animator component so let's go ahead and hit play so by default the player is idle and when I start shooting we have the shooting animation is the played one even when I change the weapon so let's go ahead and change it to this one you see that we have the shooting animation is the played one so that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and I will see you in the next one